So we got a trip for you guys today. We are going to go get a Z for me. And we have a huge update. So we're gonna get a Z first to start it off. So this is our third time this week looking for a car. The last two times were Civics or Hondas and they're both crap. We wasted all day yeah, each time doing it. Yeah, I wasted my time twice. Oh yeah, well, it was there were two hoopties, but now I know not to try to find a car under a thousand bucks right now. So yeah. we're about an hour away from town. We got Solo, we got Dilly McNilly, and we are, we're actually checking out a Z. So this Z is gonna be mint but you can see we're out in the wild. And we kind of got lost, so we need to find the Z. All right, we just got here, and this, believe it or not, is my first black 350Z. So I just bought it, it's a 2005, and um, it has black headlights and these kind of weird looking wheels, but those will sell to some G35 guy for sure. But I love this thing. The only damage is on the rear bumper. I'm waiting for AAA right now, but the only rear damage is on the rear bumper. There's a AAA you need. Fuck you. Well, here it is. This is this is going straight to the shop, and uh, it has a blown engine. You want to start it up and rev it? Oh, now you want yeah, okay. So like I said, it has a blown engine. We're going to be able to hear it. Pop the hood first. I like these headlights. Looks pretty good under here. Oh, instantly. All right, rev it up a little bit. A little bit. A little bit. Yeah, that's a rod knuckle. But we're already searching a motor. This is a rev up edition, so it's a 2005. And uh, I already have somebody I want to get a DE non rev up from and a wiring harness and ECU. I think personally that's an upgrade rev to this one. Trash. Rev ups are trash. Engine. And that's why this thing has 149,000 miles. Looks like it's been taken care of pretty good and it's already knocking. Yeah. That's ass. So, no, it's super clean, right? it is super clean. Let's sit inside. Listen for AAA. So, the only thing I know about is that that outer door handle is broken, but I'm pretty sure every Z I've ever had has had a broken handle. But the interior in this thing is pretty much immaculate. You said it has a nice stereo that works really good and it's nice. No cracks on the windshield. The hatch has all the interior in it. The passenger seat is perfect. The driver's seat has a rip right here, but yeah, 149K. Oh, look at that. So like I said, I'm gonna get a new engine for this thing and try to have it swapped and done really, really soon and then have this Z um, chilling around. It's most likely gonna be sold. Well, actually, it, it, it will be sold um, just because I wanna start getting into uh, selling more Z's and learning the Z platform even more. So Dylan just bought a crazy car. I'm gonna surprise you guys when we get to the shop. So we're waiting for AAA to get this to the shop. And then his car that he bought this morning is gonna go to the shop. And then we also have, he bought another car. So we have a huge update at the shop and I haven't really said that in this video, but I have said it in previous videos. We have acquired a shop. It still isn't fully done yet. We still have to move, on, move around our space and make it look nice. But I think with all the cars there right now, I can finally show you guys the space. Me and Dylan are really excited to show you guys and Zach. Um, we're all gonna have our cars there in a safe spot to work on our stuff. But this will definitely be the first fix in the shop. Just a simple engine swap and then we'll be on our way. So the tow truck should be here any minute and then we shall be on our way. Oh, I think that's the tow truck right there. Oh! So we are cruising in the FD. We just left my house and we're going to be at the shop meeting the tow truck driver for actually both of our cars. So me and Dylan actually both bought cars today yep. and uh, they're both gonna be at the shop, but it's really sick because we we haven't really showed you guys the shop at all. Um, so right now we're gonna show you guys the shop. Yep. We're going there now, we're about 10 minutes away. So like Jonah said, both of our cars are getting dropped off right now. Uh, there's another car that you guys haven't seen yet. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you have already seen it and a lot of you are super stoked about it. Uh, I do have a few projects on my hands now, but um, I guess you guys will kind of see what the shop is about and uh, what we're gonna be tackling first. Exactly, so Dylan got a, another crazy car to the fleet that's at the shop. So as of right now, there's only there's only one car in the shop right now, right? 
because the FD wasn't there, yes. but we're driving yeah. it, obviously. And then my other G37 is there currently. Yeah, the outside the shop. So both of our cars are going to be there any minute now. You guys already saw my Z, but his car that he actually got today for a really good deal is going to be there, and that's that's really exciting. That's almost yeah. more exciting than than the other. I mean, everything's exciting. This video is a banger, so if you guys haven't fucking been catching up, this video is the video to watch, so make sure you guys like, because this, this is the one, boys. Here we go, boys. We are inside the shop. Dylan's G35, this is one of the cool things that we found. Check it out. Right-hand drive, Infiniti G35. This is a DE, there's no engine. Well, there's no transmission, but there's an engine, and there's a drive line right there. There's a bunch of parts inside. We're gonna go through this thing real quick to see what parts it actually does have, because, oh look, there's a California plate. Well, this thing's right-hand drive. You can probably guess that we're not gonna, yeah. Um, try to save this thing so the right hand drive will go into another car who knows what This is Dylan's other car that we picked up earlier this week. It's a 1989 GTST R32 Super clean. This one just has a blown motor as well silver moss green one of my favorite colors coupe And there's my 350z that we just bought I got the 350Z Nismo V2 bumper for my G50Z, but this is the black Z right here. I'll give you a better look at it. This thing's really, really clean. Extremely clean. So we're gonna start taking shit out of this thing and see what we got. Look at that back seat, a little moldy. Crash bar. There's a bunch of stuff in here. So the weird thing about this car is that it has all these extra parts, n different headlights, and look, two yeah, shifter two. bezels, that's or two. cluster bezels. It already has one. Two plenums, that's a window, windshield, windshield uh, mechanism. And what is this? Two plenums. With two of these throttle bodies, which are worth a lot of money. So we ripped out majority of the stuff, you can see and a couple gold items is this thing. This is the JDM climate control replica, which goes for about a hundred bucks. I had to buy that for mine. He also got these little Skyline door sills, which are actually worth, I mean, I'll probably buy them for him, buy them from him. And then there's a couple cluster bezels. This looks like it's out of a Maxima. And you know what's cool about this thing is that it came with the key. So we have a key for, I believe a Maxima. And then the key for the G somewhere else but what like this too? that <laughs> it's awesome. it looks like a I don't know hmm. so this was definitely a car that was stolen in California and uh, auctioned off or traveled or something like that let's see if we can find a little bit more goodies in here is a full JDM this thing is worth huge bucks because guess what it I believe this is the Navi yep this has the navigation Dylan Oh shit. Yeah, this is the JDM version with navigation. Yeah. This pops up. Well, obviously it's not going to pop up right now, but stock everything. So somebody wanting that is that's that's a cool ticket to have. There's also a manual shifter right here. Oh yeah. Look at that. And then we found some devil's lettuce in here, which is not cool. Not at all. Not cool. But we also have an alternator. So, you know, we're full of VQs. We need an alternator. We got one. That is a that is a M35 tail light, huh? Or is that a Maxima? So are those M35 parts? Those are I think Maxima tail lights, which they're junk anyways, but let's see what else we can find in here. So we were hoping that the transmission was in the trunk, but it was not. But we did find something really really cool. So if you look in the Infinity, there is this little bag right here. And that is the OEM first aid kit. My G actually didn't come with that. So that's cool that Dylan's is. But I kind of wanted to show you guys around. Shop a little bit more. You can see all of our cars are parked under here. And this is kind of literally like a couple days into the shop. We haven't really done a lot. We got the trailer for the trash. We're going to fill this thing up. You want to turn it around or? We're going to play a game. Keep it pass. Pass. Murano headlight, moldy center console, keeper pass, keep, okay let's put that in the might keep pile, pass, what is that, that's that's out of a freaking Honda, 
You need these? No, I don't need none of that. You, you. Well, just got back to my house. We finished cleaning up the G35. Well, not finished. We got a lot of the crap that was in there out, um, and the stuff that he wanted to save, we put it on the shelves. But it's looking pretty good. That G35 is super sick. The components with that right-hand drive swap can be used in another car. I don't know if he's planning on putting that in the G37 that he just bought or his other G37, the super camera one, but either way, those right-hand drive uh, swap parts are gold. If I had the money to buy them, I would have already bought them. Because even if he can't use those in a newer G37, um, they're all they're worth a lot of money I'm sure somebody around here in a 350z or g35 would spend a lot of money on them but that's gonna be it for today's video guys you guys have no idea how much work we've been putting in uh, behind the scenes um, and it's, it's just all coming together the shop isn't where we really want it to be um, just yet we have to move around the lift that's right in front of our two little spots that you saw the G and the Z in and then move out to the other side of the shop and then it's gonna open up a lot more and then I think that's when the video we're gonna make on it is really, you know, gonna be alive. It's gonna be a full tour of the shop. There's a lot of cars there that are the landlords. So um, we're moving those around, moving those to the second story and stuff like that. But as of now, we have enough space to do what we wanna do, at least with the Z. Gotta swap the engine. Silver Moss R32 has like a severe blown head gasket or something like that. So that's something that we're gonna be tackling here soon. I didn't really do much coverage on that car, but the car is super, super clean and he got it for a screaming deal. I don't know if he's planning on selling it or keeping it, but I think he should keep it because it is a super, super sick daily. And the FD park next to that, that's a game changer right there, boys. It's actually 1 a.m. and that means it's technically my birthday. Um, gonna hang out with the boys today, hang out with the family, try to get some cars together, make another video for you guys. Hopefully stop at the shop, look at some of the things that I need for the Z. Um, but for the most part, I'm stoked right now. And I hope you guys are stoked too because things are coming along. We put down the camera for the last couple weeks because obviously we've been doing so much behind the scenes. Um, but the camera's coming back up right now, boys. We're gonna be in the shop 24 seven. We're gonna be getting stuff done. There's gonna be cars coming in, cars going out. Our car's getting built. Like you saw the Nismo V2 bumper, that is for the G50Z and that is gonna be fire. I got that for a screaming deal. So Nismo bumper on the G50Z very, very soon. But I'm gonna peace out here guys. Hope you guys have a good rest of your night or day. But just remember, when you put your mind to stuff and you believe it hard enough, and you start moving your hands and doing that with it, sooner or later, it comes to life. And that's what's happening right now. We are giving life to what we set our minds to. Peace out.